Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter. We're here at the Gloucester Marine Railway this morning, and we're just about to haul the Tea Party ship Eleanor. A couple of days ago, we launched the Beaver, and as you can see behind me, the railway is clear uh, for the Eleanor, and she's about to come up now. The way this railway works is that this cart is on a set of rollers, which is on a set of rails. That's why they call it a railway. Uh, the cart is lowered back into the water, and as it goes in the water, it submerges and then the vessel is brought in over the cart and then the two are tied off and as the cart is hauled up uh, so comes the vessel and uh, we're all hauled out. We got a diesel engine running a hydraulic pump which runs a hydraulic motor to the old gears that the steam engine used to run and there's a sprocket on it and the big heavy chain which we call the hauling chain is picked on the sprocket then there's a lighter chain called the backhaul chain that runs through a shiv at the end of the track to keep everything snug. The hauling chain on this crater was put here during World War II as part of the government wanting the yard to keep going in case they needed it. Uh, we've replaced some of it over the years. Each link's probably anywhere between 75 and 90 pounds a piece. Well, right now we're backing the cradle down so we can get enough water over it to float the Eleanor up over and onto the keel blocks. Then we'll tie, her, we'll tie one line, the head rope, to the Eleanor so she stays in one place on the cradle. Coming back of her! Then we have four lines to center her. And once she grounds out, take the list out, put the bilge blocks in as we bring the cradle up. And all goes according to plan. We just keep on coming. We're now loading the Eleanor on the cart. But some of the things that we're going to have to do as soon as we get her up is first of all we'll have to pressure wash the, uh, the bottom and once we have the bottom cleaned we'll check her caulking and do any touch up work that we might need. Following that we're going to start putting the copper cladding on. Uh, this is going to be basically the same process as we did with the beaver. We still got some work to do on Eleanor on her insides and of course we've got to go over the whole hull and uh, check her paint and uh, repaint. We need to put headrails and we're going to install the figurehead and then back aft we've got to do the trim work on the stern. After we get all that done uh, it'll be springtime and at that point we'll tow the vessels down one at a time to Boston and once they're in Boston we'll begin to put the rig on them. Uh, the masts are being made up in Maine right now and the rigging is being done down in New Bedford and all that will come together at that point. Well, we got her up. She looks great. She's up. She's out. We're ready to work on it.